guys, it's me coming to you with another Timu haul. Actually, two Timu hauls. There's, I think they have two. So, um, yeah. So today it is snowing. Well, it was snowing in New York. Oh, look, look who's making a guest appearance. Buttercup, say hi. No, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Look, no, no, over here. Look, say hi to everyone. Yeah, she's not interested. Okay, so let us get going. So in case you're wondering why I have pillows on the floor, it's because whenever I, I like to put a ton of show pillows on the bed and my husband says we have a ridiculous amount of show pillows. So he takes them off the bed. Well, I'm the first one that goes to bed at night. And then um, he's the last one to leave in the morning. So when he makes up the bed, he doesn't put the pillows back because he says, because we're just gonna take them off the bed anyway. He doesn't get it. I actually had to go through one of the bags because we have a wedding to go to and I needed a pair of earrings that I thought was in this haul to go with the outfit, but it actually is in a different haul. So um, this is the first thing I bought. I knew this canvas didn't come with a frame, so I'm okay with that. So this is a canvas of two bluebirds and a baby bird, a baby bluebird. And the reason why I love this canvas, and I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna get a frame for it and hang it up, probably for down south, not here because it doesn't really go with, I have more of a coastal type of decorative feel there here. I, I have more of a rustic barnyard. No, it's not farmhouse. That's not barnyard. It's farmhouse. So anyhow, so I'm going to transfer it this way and then get a frame when I'm down there. But my father loved birds and, um, and it just remind me of my little family growing up. Just me and my mom and dad. This is one of those stars. I thought it was bigger because, you know, sometimes you put them, a lot of people put them on the outside of their house. Of course, this is small, but this is so rustic. You can tell this is handmade. Look at this. So I was going to put this on a tree, but I don't know how. If anyone has any suggestions, how, because I have a really nice tree. I have, I have three, three trees. Um, and I don't have a star for one of them. And all my Christmas trees are very rustic kind of looking. And so, sorry, I'm reading a message that I just got. So I don't, I would love to put this up. If not, I could just like, you know, put this on a mantle or, or something. And this is something that I could keep out all year round. So I really like this. I don't know what's in here. Oh, okay. So we do a secret snowflake at work. And you have to fill out a sheet that says if you like candles, if you like ornaments, if you like lotion, if you like movies, what's your favorite gift card to, you know. So what we have to do for the first four, the first, is it the first four days or the first four weeks? The Friday of the first four weeks leading to the fifth week. Actually, I don't remember. And I've been doing this in my school for the past 20 years. That's awesome, Caroline. Anyway, the last day is the big gift. So you, the last day you spend like about 30 bucks on the gift, but every gift leading up to it, you could get like uh, a candy or a snack or an ornament. You don't have to spend a lot of money or a scratch off for like a dollar. But I got, I got my principal. So I know he loves snowman. So I got him this mug and it's really nicely done. I have to say. Sometimes when you get these types of uh, canisters or um, what do you call these? You know, drink holders. <laughs> I, I have no excuse. I'm not tired. I have no excuse whatsoever. I'm just, it's happening. I just, it, I'm getting old. So I actually bought this for him to buy for him just as a little thing. I was by my principal, my assistant principal, the office staff the security guard, the custodians, I always get them a little something for Christmas. So I actually had this in my car. I'd purchased this already, but since I have him in my secret Santa, oh, Stella's walking by, I figured I would give this to him for one of the days. And I don't remember how much this was. And I know some people are like, prices would help. And I know that. However, if I supply the links, which I am terrible at 
remembering to do every so often someone is so gracious as to say do you have the link and I'm like thank you forgot to do it it's not that I forget to do it it's just that time gets away with me and I find that I am just I overextend myself because for instance after this I plan on doing laundry and then making dinner I saw this chicken franchise dish I wanted to make and then I was gonna walk the dogs and then I have a class tonight I put myself into too many different scenarios or obligations rather and I can't always fulfill everything or at least I prioritize the things that are really important so I make sure those get done. As far as prices are concerned I know that a lot of people that do these Timu hauls they have everything priced already on their items and they know where they have a piece of paper else I don't have time to, to do that I'm sorry guys I really do apologize but if you click the link if I remember to do it and I'll bring you to the item and it'll tell you the price. These are a set of earrings. These are really pretty. These are bold earrings. These are statement earrings, and I like them. They look, they're faux, they're like resin. Oh, and they dangle. Oh, isn't that cool? Okay, so this is how they look. And these are really nice. Very nice. Are they supposed to dangle? Yeah, I thought they were broken, but they have like a faux stone kind of look which i like i bought this for my pink friend who loves pink and she says to me hey oh no she was wearing a necklace set a necklace and a um earring set and i i always have a tendency when i love someone's jewelry i'm like oh that's so nice i'm too touchy feely i know that's awful it's the italian in me i have to like so i'm like i love your necklace she goes I discovered this new site. It's called Timu. And I'm like, oh yeah, I never heard of it. it. Doesn't matter because she doesn't watch me either. Or maybe she did in the beginning, but anyway, so she'll see. She'll see what I get her. So anyhow, I got her these earrings. They're pink Christmas gift earrings. Hoping everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I, as I said, I could not do any hauls or do anything. I was, I had to travel to Buffalo to see the grandbaby and we were there for a while and then bam came back after six hours of driving and had to go to work and work takes over. So I got this. This is not like those little keychains that I bought in the past or key holders where you can hide the, this is actually to hold your credit card. You see, and you pull it up. Isn't that cool? And it's attached. So this is how it looks. I have to do my nails. I'm sorry, they're a mess. So like you take out your debit card, you just pull this out rather than digging. I'm always digging in my bag. I thought this would be, and I just purchased, well, I didn't purchase it. And my kids are always like, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? And I have no problems telling them. So I, of course it's not overly expensive, but we, I, I, grew up in Rockland County, New York, and it's about 40 minutes from Manhattan. And I always went to Manhattan all the time. We lived in Manhattan and then we lived in the Bronx. So we just kept working our way further north and then Rockland County. So we spent a lot of time in Manhattan to go to restaurants for Christmas, for to go see the Macy's windows, the Saks Fifth Avenue windows, to go see Broadway shows. We were always in Manhattan. And it, we passed that along with my children. So as we moved further north, we still went to Manhattan for everything. When my father was diagnosed with cancer, Manhattan, Sloan Kettering, NYU. I just knew the best doctors are always the doctors that have the most, see the most volume of people. So um, every time we go into Bloomingdale's, I always pick up, it's called um, the little brown bag, that's what it's called. And it is made of like a plastic sort of thing beginning 90s everyone used to have one of those little brown bags where they would just keep all their stuff in it and it just clearly everyone knew it was from Bloomingdale's so I never got one and fast forward all the years I've gone to Bloomingdale's I always had it in my hand never picked it up I love it so now they make bigger ones with zippers and they have pouches makeup pouches that come same thing little brown makeup pouch so of course my daughter's asking me what do you want for christmas and i had something in mind and then they didn't have it so then i told her you know what i would like one of those little brown bags from bloomingdale so i think she got it for me but i'm not sure so anyhow so i think 
that's what she got me because that's what I wanted. And I went way off on a tangent. But this was going to go with my little brown bag if she did get it for me. So I bought these. These light up. I'm sorry if this is... I don't know how, how to shut this, though. That's the problem. This is another pair of earrings. I got these for myself. I bought so... I'm going to do a haul on all the resin stuff I bought for my jewelry making with resin. I'm going to... Dip my feet into that. See how that goes. So these are, well, these are pretty. These are really nice. They seem like they're resin with a glitter in it. These are really, I can't believe I forgot my earrings today. These nails, I am so super excited. Who had these on? Who had these on? I don't remember. Oh, somebody had these nails. Menopause Madness. Or ma Madness, men yeah, Menopause Madness or Madness P Menopause. I love her. She, I think she had these, I don't know. I think she had these nails on. So, of course, I had to look for them. And it's a little, you know, all over the place. But I'm going to actually put these on today. And I have parent-teacher conferences Thursday night. And I don't care. It's me, you know, if I want those funky looking crazy nails, I will wear them because my nails don't decide who I am. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I got this because we always are running out and losing them. I saw a TikTok on these kit, these parents who, when their children grow up and have their own houses of their own, how they were going to steal these, like, you know, of course, everyone's teenagers or whatever kids do that. Well, my kids always did that. So anyhow, so I'm going to have another one. This is actually from my device bag. All the all the chargers and USB cables, and it has three. So that's going to go in that. I got shoes. Okay. I love their shoes. They have the nicest shoes for not a lot. And this is how they look. They're really pretty. Why do I feel like I'm staring up so high? Because I put the, the phone so high this time around. All right, let me see. Oh, they, they look nice too. They have like a little bit of bling. Like it says you're in your 50s, but you still got it. I have no idea what this is. It has a lot of batteries. Oh, I know what this is. So you know how like you need a power bank? This is so clever. I would never think that that was possible. Okay, so let me explain it before I keep going on. So this is a power bank. And if you see right there, you can use it to charge your devices, right? or anything, as long as it has a USB. But you use batteries instead of charging this into an outlet and then having it charged. But I think you can recharge it. I, you know what, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Can you recharge batteries? I don't know if you can, I, I have no idea. I'm going to Google this, or at least go back onto Timo because and I wish I had batteries right now to test this out. Maybe it goes like that. Oh, that doesn't go there. Welcome, easy idea. Okay. So this is how it looks after all that. And the screen would light up as an on and off, so if you need to charge your phone. It's huge, um, but if you're in a pinch. So I bought a heat press, and I don't know if I'm very impressed by it. I bought the, it was only like $100 on Amazon, and they come in all these little different pastel colors, and you, you could travel with it. And I can't get it more than 400 
five degrees. And I don't think that's hot enough because I have the mat that I bought, you know, to put over. I press it down and I put the timer on for 15 seconds or 20 seconds and then I stop and then I move it. And I must have done this. I must have spent probably a good 20 minutes on one t-shirt and it just won't get warmer. And I don't know, do you need to go more than 405 degrees? I have no idea, but my iron-on took me a long time. And regardless of which seller I bought them from. So I don't know if it's the iron press or not. And I've already used it. I'm not going to take it back. But I was so super excited to make a lot of t-shirts for Christmas. And I made a couple. But I spent a good two hours to make like four. It was ridiculous. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But maybe I'll just go back to my good old iron. So I bought these because I plan on making t-shirts. We're having a Christmas party and we are also having and hosting Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. That's just how I roll. And I figured we would all wear our t-shirts. This one says, I like this one. It's basically, I love how you can really relate to a saying. So this one says, I've survived too many storms to be bothered by raindrops. I love that. That one's really great. This one says, life is short, buy more plants. I'm a plant mom. I'm very proud of my plants. I haven't named them, but I adore my plants and I love anything living. There was a fly in our classroom yesterday and it was stuck in between the screen and the storm window. <laughs> we couldn't kill it because, you know, seeing flies around this time of year is very rare, especially in, you know, colder climates. So we're trying to save this fly. I couldn't bring my heart to, to kill it. And although flies are dirty, it's a living thing. I had to get this. This is for a friend of mine. I'm gonna make her a t-shirt. I can't read backwards. If we are in a don't laugh situation, do not look over at me. <laughs> I'll put it like this. This is really cool. I love, oh look, this one has direction. And I got, I don't know. This looks like a pillowcase. This was from Timu. I put her in the carry-on the other day that she hold like a baby. Everyone was laughing at me. My whole family is like, that poor thing. Okay, this is a runner. I love it. It's not a pillowcase. Look. Oh, I can find, I know where I'm going to put this. Sometimes I use these not to put on the table, but to put like on a dresser or an end table because it just looks really cool. Oh, this is for butternut. When we drive, I'm sorry, it's crinkling. I got a comment about that, and I, I apologize. Someone said that it's too annoying and they can't watch. We'll move on. Vavia, you know, I get it. Go. So when we drive down south, um, we take this little girl here. The big girl's probably going to come eventually. This is, this is supposed to go in the middle. I don't know how it goes in, but that she would definitely fit. You like your little seat when we go down south? You like it? <laughs> so, yeah, go back to seat. So this is for her for the car. It is big, and I like it. These are more nails. These, I like the square nails. These are green, and they're long. And they're, are they square tip? Yeah. I have to start. This is, I love, Mademoiselle Chanel. Love, love, love it. And I asked my husband to buy me another bottle for Christmas. But in the meantime, I have to make do somehow. <laughs> so I looked to see if they had a dupe. And this says Coco Daisy. This is the, the one that I found to be the closest, at least in looks wise. So I don't know. It's cool. It smells really close, but did you guys know that hairspray lasts longer if you put it in your hair? Not hairspray, perfume. Think about it. If you hairspray all that stuff, which is all very bad for you, but 
if you want to smell good for a longer length of time. I don't know what I'm saying. I heard it somewhere. I don't know if I read it, if I dreamt it, but it's worth trying. It's the question, how long will it last? What is this? Eh, I hope it wasn't a gift because I'm tearing into it like a ravaged beast. Okay. Oh, it is for me. Thank goodness. I needed a new palette. I wear earth tone eyeshadow or just really smoky eye, which is my go-to. I really picked it for the darker. I got these earrings. I do know the price of these. They were 89 cents. This is how those look. These are really pretty and they're very light. Very light. I like them. Clearly I love these earrings. I bought them again and I said I did. I realized it afterwards. These are my disco earrings for when I go out dancing and clubbing. <laughs> oh, the clubbing era. Do they still have clubs? I remember in the 90s, we all went to the club. There was some of us that, not us, but I knew people that would go to the bars. I was in the bar girl. I was the club girl. We got dressed. We left, you know, we leave our house around 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. We wouldn't dare go out any time earlier than that. And we went to the clubs and we danced and we had fun. But then there were other people that went to the bars. They liked the bar scene. They liked to, you know, to drink beer and stuff. I wasn't that girl. I needed to have a cocktail or a glass of wine to have really high hair. That was me. <laughs> and I'm never going to be that girl again, <laughs> sadly. Nah. All right. I bought this little doll for our granddaughter, but it's clearly, she's a baby. She's a newborn. But I thought for Easter, and even by Easter, it's still too it's still too, um, she won't be able to play with dolls like this until she's probably past the putting everything in her mouth face. Three, four years old. I don't know, but look at the eyes on this little girl and the lavender hair. And it has the bunny ears. It has like a bunny hat. I'll put it on. So something tells me this is going to be here for a while. Maybe she could be my little mascot at work. I love it. I love the ears. They're so cute. But look how pretty she is. I love the lavender hair. Do the shoes come off? Oh, and she sits. She. Oh, wait. Her hands go up. Wow. All right. Hold on. I haven't played with dolls since I was old. God. Actually, I had a Cabbage Patch kit till I was 11. Okay. Look how pretty she is. She's really cute. You know what? I'm just going to keep her around. She'll be my little mascot. Got this for my daughter. She always says, smile, be nice. That is something she says all the time. And it's kind of funny. So I got her, these are the pants or the pajama bottoms. And here, <laughs> girl just smiled. <laughs> I don't know if she'll wear it. She may not wear it. Christina. What? Come here. I got you this. This is why I got you them. <laughs> here you go. Is that it? We're done. We are done here. I'm going to put up my chicken, do my laundry, walk the dogs. Then I got to get ready for my class. It's a Zoom class. So, and you have to keep your cameras on. Remember back in the day during COVID, if you shut your camera, you can do that. Well, I take these classes sometimes and they, uh, they make you keep your camera on. So you can't just be like watching lifetime. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And, um, like I said, I will try and get my, uh, links down below or my description box. And, um, and if I forget, please remind me prices. They change all the time. So, or just click the button that I supply or click the link. And usually if you just look at it, it'll show you the price that it is at that moment. All right, guys, take care. Have a happy and blessed Tuesday. Bye-bye.